Alright lads and welcome to the review of him for Marco Parolo. He hails from Italy and he plays for Parma in the Serie A. Uh, he plays centre midfield, he's right footed, he's got a medium attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate. He's got a three star weak foot and two star skills. He's also got long shot shaker trait as well. So looking at his in games, his standouts are he's got 92 shot power, 90 long shots, 87 aggression, 84 short pass. So you can pause the video for a closer look at his in-games there. We've also included the gains from his non-inform as well, so you can compare. So this is the team we played Parola in. We used the 4-1-2-1-2, version 2, silver Italian team. And we used Parolo at Cam. So Parolo straight off the bat, he's got insane shot power and long shot for a, a silver player. He's got 92 and 90 respectively. And the long shot Draker on top of that is just the cherry on the cake. So overall he has the best long shot stat of any silver in the game so far. But he isn't just limited to his long shots. His stats overall are great as well. His lowest stat is his penalties really. So it shows you he's got great stats overall across the board. So this makes him into a great all rounder which is a big bonus. He has great aggression. Uh, 87 aggression, a decent tackling stats and good strength. So he can cope if you want to deploy him in a CDM role. He did attempt quite a lot of tackles as well, play, even playing at Cam. We'll show you in the stats later. As we said, he's got his long shots. He's got 82 long pass and 84 short pass. So he's going to be great at centre midfield and even as a Cam as we used him. So he's a quality silver player and he could even grace a goal team. He's got great stats. I think he's got 4-4-2 overall stats. Just to compare, Montalivo's got 4-4-8. So he's got great stats for a silver. And his medium, medium work rates are an advantage as well, because he's always going to be roughly around the middle of a pitch. That's where you want him. That's where you want a long shot taker to be, ready to rattle off his long shots. But also, when he does get in the box, we had no real problem with his finishing either. He did tuck away a half volley on his weak foot as well in the box, so that was quite a decent finish from Parolo. Let's have a look at Parolo's match stats. What we do is we play 10 games with a player, we collect all of the stats, and then show them to you to give you a better idea of how the player performed. So in 10 games we scored 6 goals which is not too bad. We got 5 assists with Parolo. The stats are all there on the left so you can check out his percentages. And the goals are in the bottom on the goal map on the bottom right. You can pause the video for a close look at all his stats now if you like. So overall, I was really pleased with Parolo. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. He's a great silver card. He was Mr. Versatile for me. He can play anywhere in the central role on the pitch. And also he's got his beast long shot on top of that as well. So now on to his positives and negatives. Uh, his positives are, he's got great stats for a silver player as we mentioned. I think he, like as we said his lowest stat is his penalties. Uh, he's got his amazing long shots. As you know he's got the best long shot of any silver in the game. Uh, versatile, Mr. Versatile for us. He can easily play as we said CDM, CM or CAM. So you're going to be getting a player who can cover all areas of the pitch in the middle. On to his negatives now, his only negatives really is his price. Currently it was around 150k when we were doing this, started this review. We picked him up for 101. He's currently sitting around that price, around 100k-ish. So he's quite an expensive silver in form, but he is quite rare. There's not that many of him on the market. So you could say if he stays rare, he could gain a bit in value in the future. And of course, his two-star skills, we did feel a bit wanting in his skills of course like totty we managed with totty and his two star skills but we were missing the roulette as well i like to do the roulette to try and beat the defenders in the box and i was finding a lot of time i was going to do the roulette and then uh, failing miserably because we ended up just standing there but it's not too bad you can use the lb dribble if you as long as you don't hold the sprint then you can change direction pretty quickly and overall, I really enjoyed using Parolo. He's highly recommended if you want a silver Italian team. Actually performed really, really good as well, that silver Italian team. Some great little players in there. So thanks a lot for watching, lads. Stay tuned. Uh, subscribe if you're new. We've got loads of videos coming up. We do loads of reviews all the time. We've got loads of squad builders as well. I'd appreciate it if you left a like to show if you do, you are enjoying the videos. So stay tuned for more videos. Thanks a lot, lads. Cheers. Peace.